Hello and welcome to this quick little tutorial on Stochastic Sequencer, which is part of my Shebang modules, which can be used with VCV Rack, all open source. Um, I'm just going to quickly go through each of these uh, parameters and plug and inputs and outputs on the sequencer. Um, so first of all, you have a uh, external clock, which to input here which controls the the timing of, of this sequencer. Um, you can reset it, which will set this sequence position back to the beginning. You have a length knob here, which you can control how how you know long the sequence is. And you have different patterns or presets. Um, if you want them all zeroed out, this is 50%, 100%, and so forth. And these can be used for like drum set like starting patterns and then you have other uh, just kind of other shapes that you can use you can randomize it you can invert what you have so it basically so if you look at it like from this position you invert it which is kind of the opposite you could diminish it which just cuts the pattern in half and continues to do that until you eventually end up with the same thing so this is kind of cool if you actually want to randomize some things and then you want to create like a repetitive pattern you can kind of do that um, you can get a sense of this uh, with the pat with the preset pattern as well invert it and so forth um, let's invert that yeah and then you you have uh, a quantizer um, which quantizes the pitch um, you, you can even do raw volts, which is just, um, there's no quantization. Um, so, uh, the unique thing about this sequencer is that it actually uses probabilities to trigger gates. So, um, <clears throat> if I set this pattern to 50% and then I already have the gate hooked up to this envelope, there's no pitch, but it's just going to be the same pitch. And then I start the clock. So each time there's a 50% chance that the gate will trigger. Now this becomes, um, you know, if you're trying to create sort of a random rhythm, then this is really all you got to do. Just a 50% thing. Uh, obviously 100%. It happens all the time. You could randomize it. Um, now this is pretty cool. Uh, if I if I add the uh, volts per octave and connect that up, now this actually doesn't deal with the probability at all. It it just gives us the uh, uh, volts per octave based on the sliders. And you and by the way, you can draw, click and drag, and draw how whatever sliders you want. Um, so just to here, we'll we'll just do one slider. So all the way up, and then. And um, if I if I move that down, now notice it doesn't always trigger now because the probability is affecting when, when that it actually happens. So zero percent is never going to trigger, and that's very rare. So what what might end up happening if you connect the gates? Um, if you trigger, use the gates to trigger an envelope, um, and then also use the volts per octave w with uh, an oscillator, and then you go through some random pattern like this, what's going to happen is the probability of having higher pitches is, is going to be greater than lower pitches. And now if you want to actually hear every pitch and you're not concerned about probability, it's just best to hook this up to the, the clock. So the other the other thing with this um, is the spread here. Now this controls uh, by default. It's it's set to one, which means um, the default spread is actually two octaves. So. Um, if I wanted to, um, I can also go into the negative, which inverts the the uh, the sliders and 
corresponding to their bolts per octave. Um, so if if I actually want to hear uh, higher probabilities of low notes, you know, by default you're going to hear if, if I'm connecting the uh, gates and the volts per octave to an oscillator, then higher probabilities are going to correspond with higher pitches. Um, but I can change that by setting this to a negative number. Because now, now with a negative number, the sliders that are higher up here, or a higher probability, are going to be lower notes. And the opposite happens with, um, you know, everything's the opposite. So, um, likewise, if, if I want to more spread, I just... kind of a random randomized pattern that became repetitive and the interesting here thing here is it, it's uh, it, because it's still dealing with probabilities you can hear a repetition but it's not always the same it's not exactly the same so this can kind of create some interesting uh, ostinatos or you know rhythmic patterns or melodic patterns or whatever Okay, thanks for listening. Next, I'll talk about the Stochastic Sequencer 4, which actually has four independent sequencers built into one. And they can be independently controlled.